Hey all, this is Anjali and in this lecture we are going to do hyperlinks in HTML. Before we start with hyperlinks, you should be very clear with what a hyperlink is. Hyperlink you've seen all across the web. When I open Google to search for something, I write down the topic and what Google gives me. It gives me a list of hyperlinks where I can click and move on to the page where I can find the information. If you have any website, it has various links to it. For example, you have a website of your school or college. When you open that website, there are options like administration, admission, about us, contact us. When you click on those, it opens another page where you get the respective information. What are those? Those are hyperlinks. So a website is a collection of many web pages and those web pages are linked with each other with the help of hyperlinks. So now we'll be doing how to create those hyperlinks in our web pages. The tag used to create hyperlinks is the anchor tag, that is a tag, which is used to create a link. The two main attributes we use with it are href and target. So href stands for hypertext reference. That means we need to specify the name of the file with which we want to link our text. And target is the place where the link should open. By default, it opens in the same window where your current page is being displayed. If you want some other location, we can specify with the target attribute. Now, these two attributes, just I told you, how do we, how do we use them? And you will get it a better way when we do an example for that. Before we go for an example, I'll tell you the two types of links we have. We have two types of links. One is internal hyperlink and one is external hyperlink. Now, you must have gone through external hyperlinks more in comparison to internal hyperlinks. The external hyperlinks are the one which link one page with another page. Like I click on a link and the page changes. I move on to another page and get another document altogether. So that's external hyperlink. Whereas internal hyperlink is the one where I click at some location on my page and it takes me to some other location on the same page. So if the link is moving you between the same page up or down, that's called internal hyperlink. Now, how do we create these? Let's see first how to create an external hyperlink. That's quite simple. How to create an external hyperlink? We have majorly this line. You can see over here, I've written a space href is equal to list1.html. Then you write the text which should appear as a hyperlink. So I want the text to appear as list in HTML. And then you have to close the anchor tag. So by this page is basically giving me two links for the two earlier pages we have created. That is list in HTML and basic tags which has basic tags and formatting tags. So the two links are created this way. We've written a href is equal to list.html. And this is the hypertext for that. Clicking on this text, we will move on to this page. Same way, I've made another hyperlink where the text will appear as basic tags and the href for that is first.html. So when we click on basic tags, it will move on to the page named first.html. So we'll just see how does it actually behave when you open it in the browser. But before that, let me tell you how to make an internal hyperlink as well. Now, since you have to make an internal hyperlink, you have to name the location where you have to move. So, for internal hyperlinks, we can use the ID attribute. You can see over here I have H3 and I have an attribute called ID with that. I'll give an ID to the place where I have to move. So, I've given ID as P1, ID as P2, ID as P3. It's not necessary that ID can be given only with heading tags. You can give ID with the paragraph tag or uh, with heading or just like this with the div tag. We can also use a tag over here to create a position. For that, we have to write a name is equal to p1. That will create the location named p1 over here. So either way, you have to create the location. So we have created three locations here. One is p1, this is p2, and this is p3. Now we need to move to these locations. For that, we have links on the top of the page. Like I have a href is equal to hash p1. For internal hyperlinks, we don't have an extension. Like in the earlier example you saw, we wrote file name dot html. But here you don't have that extension, so you don't have to write that dot thing. Rather, we have to put a hash in front of it. 
So HREF is equal to hash P1. HREF is equal to hash P2. So when I click on basic tags, the focus will move to the position which has an ID as P1. If I click on formatting tags, it will move to a position where the focus is on, uh, it will move the focus on a position which name has P2 ID. Similarly for P3. So this is how we create internal hyperlinks. Now this is about the theory thing like how we write the internal and external hyperlink code. Now let's see how we actually execute them. So first of all, this is your links.html page where I have made two hyperlinks. These are external hyperlinks. So you can see over here, I've just written a heading. Hello everyone. Then we have two links, one for list in HTML and one for basic tags. So this is your major code which creates the hyperlinks. Now we need to run it in the browser so that we can see how it actually works. So I run it in Chrome. The page is loading so we get it this way. So this is the heading, this is a normal line and these are the two hyperlinks. I click on basic tags. So it will open the page which we created earlier in the basic tag lecture. I click on this back and I'm back over here. Then I click on lists in HTML and I move to the page which shows lists in HTML. So that's so simple to create external hyperlinks over here. I'll show you an example of external and internal hyperlinks. Like if you open Wikipedia for some information, let's say I have opened this for computer network. You can see on this left hand side, there are so many links. These links are generally external hyperlinks. If I click on this, it is going to open some other page. Whereas if I click on these links, you can see the page which is open over here is this computer network. If I scroll down from the scroller, I have an index and then I have all the topics listed here. I hope you can see this. Now, what we do is if I click on any of the above topic, like I want to see firewalls, I click on firewalls, it moves me in the same page down where we have firewalls. So this is internal hyperlink that you click on a point and it moves you down on the same page. If I click on history, it moves me down on the history section. So this is internal hyperlink. So this is done with the help of internal hyperlinks. Whereas if I click on any of these links, which are there on the left hand side, like I click on featured content, you'll see the page would change. I will not get information about computer networks anymore. It's altogether a different page in this window. So this is an external hyperlink which changes the page altogether, whereas internal hyperlink just moves you at some other location within the same page. So that's how we make external or internal hyperlinks. So let's take an example of internal hyperlinks which we coded in the example. So I have the same example over here. I have a link for basic tags, for matching tags and lists. I have given, you know, BR number of times to just leave some space in between so that we can see the movement when we click on the hyperlink. And here we have the IDs. It's the same code which we just discussed. So let's view it. So we view it in Chrome. So this is the page. Here I have three links, basic tags, formatting tags, lists. On the page down, you can see list is not visible right now. Now I'm going to click on list and it shows me the list tags as well. So since we have lesser content, you can't get it in a better way than how it is moving. But when I clicked on list, we got this list tags over here. The similar way Wikipedia has also coded for the same thing that you click on the link above and it brings you down to the topic where it is displayed on the screen. So that's internal hyperlink. So this is how we create links in HTML. If you notice, by default, the color of the link is blue. Once a link is already visited, it becomes purple. And if I click on it, you can see I have pressed the button, mouse button, and it is still pressed. So it shows it in red color. So that is active link is red, visited link is purple, and when it's altogether a fresh link, it is blue. I can change these colors as well. For that, we have to use some attributes with the body tag. Like I have an attribute called link. I want the hyperlinks should come in yellow color. 
So I can write link is equal to yellow. Then we have V link that is visited link. By default, visited link is purple. I want visited link should come in cream color. And A link that is active link. I want active link should come in black color. So I can change the colors if I want. And it is not necessary that you have to change all three colors. You just want to change for visited link. So just use the V link attribute. If you just want to change the color of the link, use the link attribute. So use it anyhow, anyhow you feel like. So this is how I've changed the colors of the links in this. And let's see how it affects the page. Refresh this. You can see it's coming in green because both of these are visited happy links. So that's why the color is green. If I click on it, it comes here, but if you will notice, if I keep it pressed, it comes in black because we gave active hyperlink as black. If it would have been my new page, then the link would come in yellow color because that is the color we gave for normal hyperlink. So this is how we create hyperlinks in HTML. So to conclude, we can have internal hyperlinks, we can have external hyperlinks, and the tag used for creating hyperlinks is a tag that is anchor tag and if you want you can change the colors of the links as well hope you understood the concept of links in web pages in case of any doubts do write in the comment section and in case you like it then also you can write something in the comment section don't forget to like the video share with your friends and yes do subscribe the channel thank you